Hi, my name's Lisa. I am a dancer and teacher with Latin Quarter and would like to thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. This video is concerned with the purchase of shoes for dancing. Firstly, do you need dance shoes to join a dance class? At beginner's classes, you do not need dance shoes unless you would like them, but you do need to take care about the shoes you do wear to class and should follow the following guidelines. Wear shoes that are as light as possible and comfortable. Make sure the soles of the shoes are not too sticky to the floor. Make sure the soles of the shoes are not too slippy. And make sure that the shoes are secured properly. For example, sandals or flip-flops would not be appropriate. At some point, as your dancing progresses, you will need to consider buying dance shoes. But that point varies with each individual's circumstances. Once you decide to purchase shoes, you will then have to decide where you will purchase them. In no particular order, the options are as follows. Your local shop. The advantage of this option is that you get to try on the shoes before taking them home. The disadvantage is generally the cost. eBay or the internet to purchase new shoes. The advantage of this option is that the price is generally lower than the high street. The disadvantage is that the quality of the shoe and shoe sizes are very variable unless you buy a genuine brand of mainstream shoes such as Superdance, Freed or International. eBay to buy second-hand shoes. The advantage of this route is the low cost, but avoid unbranded shoes. The disadvantage is you're depending on the description provided by the vendor and the photograph provided, which means you could be out of pocket for the cost of returning them. By this stage, the more experienced of you will be able to recognise dance shoes. But for those of you who would like to buy now, please take a look at this video where the various types of dance shoes are illustrated. The two areas indicated by the arrows are the sole of the shoe, which is the area covered by the suede. The arrow on the right directs your attention to an area of the sole not in direct contact with the floor, so still retains the correct texture for maximum grip, which is the texture you are trying to maintain by brushing. As you can see, the correct texture has a fluffy appearance on the surface of the suede. You're better sticking to mainstream brands such as Superdance, Freed or International as the quality is usually better and the sizing more accurate. Tan Latin shoes with no more than a 2.5 inch heel would be the best all-around shoe for your first purchase. As your dancing progresses, you may wish to purchase ballroom shoes which have a closed toe. Again, no more than a 2.5 inch heel is recommended. And to avoid having to colour coordinate your outfit, tan colour is also recommended. Male Latin shoes are very versatile and can be used for all forms of dance. The only difference between the male Latin and ballroom shoe is the ballroom upper is usually a shiny patent leather. Once you purchase your shoes, you should check the heels to ensure they are vertical and safe to use. Please take a look at our short video that shows you what you should look for. When your shoes first arrive, place each shoe on a flat level surface and ensure that the heel is vertical. If the heels aren't vertical and angled to the left or right, then they are faulty, unsafe to use and should be returned. 